Hello again, Chris Richter here. We're back at ricochet.com.au. What I'd like to talk about today is Moodle and the Moodle plugins. Now, first of all, we're just going to cover what a plugin is, where you can find plugins and what they do, and then what the most popular plugins are at the moment. And you can get a bit of an idea on what might be useful to you. And this is uh, can be incredibly useful because plugins are these things inside the Moodle LMS that allow you to do all sorts of other functions that are not part of the standard default Moodle install. So first of all, what is a Moodle plugin? Well, a Moodle plugin could be any component or any part that sits inside the platform. So for example, plugin in Moodle is often a block or a component that is added in after the product is installed. An example, or the first example I'll show you, is if we open up the drawer over here, there is a product here. It's actually called Grade Me, but I've renamed it to Require Grading. And it is a component that is added as what's called a block inside Moodle. And it allows you to, in this case, grade or show a teacher what they need to grade at the moment. So students have submitted stuff, what needs grading. This is where you can go inside this component. So it sort of sits in its own little box. If I go Add Block, you can see all of these other components that can be added. And each of these is actually a plugin. And out of these ones here, the majority of them are plugins that come with the Moodle LMS. And we can just click on it, add them, configure it, and use it. So that's really all a plugin is. If you want to find out more about plugins and what exists in the Moodle platform, go to moodle.org slash plugins. And that will take you to a page that shows you all the different plugins that exist as part of the Moodle provided or Moodle approved plugin. So there's 2035 of them. They come in different categories, say administration, assessment, collaboration, communication, content, and interface. Uh, that's for purpose. And then in plugin types, there's all these other different terms. Some of these may make sense to you. Some of them probably don't. If you are looking to be able to achieve something different with the Moodle platform, and an, an example might be uh, you'd like things to be displayed differently uh, in the content of a course. So if I go into my courses and I choose an example course here, you can see the format of how that's laid out. There's a certain format uh, about how content is displayed. I can go and grab a plugin, and if I choose in plugin type and choose course format. These are all different ways or different plugins that I can install that can change how this is displayed. So this course format, the way that the format of the course is, these plugins, if installed, will display things quite differently. And this one here, a tiles format, is a fairly popular one. So it changes this layout of how the content is displayed to appear in this format using tiles instead. And you can have icons and percentages and inside each one of those tiles, you can have the content as well displayed. So it's just another way of displaying the content. But the important part is that it uses a plugin called the tiles format. And what you generally do is you download the plugin, you go into Moodle as an administrator, go to site administration, choose plugins, install, and you can basically drop that file that you downloaded into here and install that plugin into your Moodle system. So any of the plugins in here can be used. Uh, they have all been checked by different people to validate that the plugins work and they're, you know, everything's okay, but they are developed by lots of different developers. So you don't necessarily know what you're gonna get, but have a look through and you'll find some really interesting plugins. To help you find out what the most popular ones are, if you go down to statistics, down here on the right, and overview stats, this will give you a list of what the most popular plugins are. And to explain a little bit about these most popular plugins and what they actually do and they look like, I'll go through just the top few that well, I think are important, uh, ones that you know, are popular and the reason for them. So the first one is Adaptable, and Adaptable is actually a plugin, but it is a theme. So that's the, the whole format of your platform. So you can download the adaptable theme and that will change the whole complete layout. You can install it. The whole complete layout of Moodle. This one's the boost theme at the moment. If we then install the plugin, it will appear down here under themes and we'll have one of these other themes to view. You'll notice there's one called move in there as well. 
And if I go to our stats, you can see that the second plugin is called Move, which is a theme. There's the Edwiser course formats. So these are the formats for the course. Like I said, if you're viewing a course and you want it to appear different, so it's a different layout, you can use a, what's called a course format. So the Edwiser course formats are great are a great variation of that. They're very clean and tidy, uh, really useful. Then we jump into plugins that are not theme related. Uh, they're actually about function. And this one is called the attendance plugin. And the attendance one is to record the attendance of students when they are not actually in the platform, but they're attending other external functions, or it can be inside the platform too. Um, they may be attending a online conference or something like that or an online meeting, you can record their attendance and start to put together statistics about the student's attendance. Custom certificate is a completion certificate for students that once they complete a course, you can then issue them with a certificate and you can customize it. It's pretty cool. They can be sent as a PDF out to the student when they complete based on the course completion. So it's a great plugin as well. Interactive Content H5P is really clever. Now it's part of the Moodle platform now in version 4.0. So you may not actually need to install it. It may already be in there, but this is one of the plugins that's been fairly popular. Fordson is another theme uh, that you can use. Big Blue Button is for video conferencing. So if you install Big, Big Blue Button as a plugin and connect to the Big Blue Button server, you can actually have video conferencing between students and your teachers, which is pretty handy. The tiles format, which is that one that I showed you before with the different uh, layout, which is a, a course format where it appears as tiles. We've got questionnaire, which is pretty cool. Uh, Collapse topics is another course format. Grid format is similar to tiles format. It just changes the layout a bit. Academia is another Moodle theme. Uh, OpenID Connect, I'll leave you to go and search that one. Zoom meeting is similar to Big Blue Button, except it connects you to the Zoom platform. Microsoft 365 integration, if you are connecting your students and their logins to Microsoft 365 platform, then this is the plugin that you'll need to connect that to it as well. And configure reports is actually a reporting process or system uh, that's really, really handy to use. And configure reports uh, lets you create custom reports and design your own reporting uh, out of Moodle because Middle doesn't have fantastic reports, really just straight out of the box. So it's a great plugin to use. Completion Progress is a clever little plugin that allows you to view the completion of students' work uh, and where they're up to as a block. So I might actually show you how to install Completion Progress and give you a quick look at it. So give me a second. Let's, um, let's go and have a look at Completion Progress. So if we go back to Plugins, and we search completion progress, you can see it just shows a completion bar with where they're up to. So we just go to completion progress. I'm using Moodle 4.0, so I just make sure it's in the, the right drop down. I select download. And there it is downloaded there. Go to my Moodle platform, site administration, plugins, install, grab that plugin, drop it in there, install. Continue. You have to be an administrator to do all of this, obviously. Let me just run through it. So that is now installed. I can now go to a course. So I might go to just my example course. I can go add block. I can go completion progress. And you can now see that it shows me the completion for myself, or if it was a student logged in, it would show you the completion for the student and all of the items that they've completed. So let me just choose a course that has a few more items in there so it looks a little better. Go to Practice Course 1 Demo, and you can see Completion Progress is now in there. And as I scroll across, it shows you each of the items that have been where they are. The green one means completed. The blue means not completed yet. Green is completed. And you can also go to an overview of all the students, and it will show you all of the students and their progress as well. So just want to show you what a plugin looks like when it's installed. Uh, that's the completion progress one. But otherwise, check it out. Have a look at moodle.org slash plugins and go for it. There's some really cool plugins that have been created for it. Like I said, there's 2,035 of them in there. And not all of them work on Moodle 4.0, so you do have to check which version they work on when you go into the plugin. So just make sure the one you choose 
is suitable for your version of the platform. But otherwise, hopefully that's been useful to you. It's all about plugins. It's very clever what you can do. You can also create your own plugins. If you know PHP and you're interested in learning all of that, I've got some courses down the bottom there. Just click on the links and it'll take you to how to create your own plugins. Uh, it gets really in depth. It's incredibly complex, but it's a lot of fun. Hopefully that's been useful to you. My name is Chris Richter. I'll talk to you again soon.